in this video i'm going to show you how to create an amazing poster design in photoshop grab your mouse as we dive in so first and foremost we are going to create a new document choose a solid color so we are going to create another solid color With the layer selected, with the max selected, sorry, we grab the gradient tool. Gradient insert to foreground to transparent. We click OK. We zoom out and we are just going to and we are just going to drag this way. We create a new layer. We grab a soft hand brush. And we are going to right click and change roundness to normal. Set opacity at 100. We have our foreground set to white. And we are just going to click once. With the layer selected, we are going to change the blend mode to overlay. I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer. So let's grab our resources now. So first and foremost, we are going to copy this item, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Let's grab the test now. So let's lock this layer and we can position this one. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to be creating shapes behind all the bottles. They may not be precisely the same as all of them, but are something cool to work with. So first and foremost, we grab the rectangular, the rectangle tool. Then we are just going to create a shape way, the rectangle shape this way. So let's choose our shape. Our yellow. So we copy the text has good. Then we are just going to paste it here. So we are going to drop the layer beneath the portal because we want it just behind it. Let's position this way. Ctrl J to make a copy. So we select the rectangle, one of the copies, and we are just going to move it just this way. So we are going to change the hex code for this one as well. The layer selector Ctrl J to make another copy. I'm just going to position it this way. So with the layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. So we clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I T red. We grab a soft turn brush. Reduce the opacity. Set foreground to white. And we are just going to paint. So 
So we're just going to paint some shadows this way. We create another exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, blue eye to invert. Ctrl I to invert. So we are just going to paint some shadows. So now we are going to be applying some light. So with the layer selector, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We go for light. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to move it. We grab a soft hand brush. Foreground is set to white. We are just going to paint. So we'll go for light, clip it onto the layer, now this way. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert, we grab a soft hand brush and we are just going to paint. Let's grab this item now, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Right click and convert to smart object, Ctrl T we scale it that will make it smaller. So we're just going to drop this layer, change the blend mode to screen. We make a copy, Ctrl G. So we're going to drop the copy just here. We are going to position it. So with the first layer selected, we right click and create a clipping max. So we have it in the first rectangle, the, the first rectangle. So with this one selected, we right click and create a clipping max. But that's not looking good. So we move it just this way. Click the check mark to confirm. With the layer selected, particles layer, Ctrl J, we make another copy. And we are going to drop the copy just behind the red rectangle. So we position it this way. Right click and create a clipping marks. So now we're going to apply levels adjustment layer. Clipped onto it. Yeah, this way. Clipped onto the particles layer. Now we we have it this thing. So we do the same for all the three as well.
you are going to select create a new layer drop the layer behind the bottom just beneath it we increase opacity to 100 so we go to brush settings and we are going to change the roundness to 10 set foreground to black so we are creating content shadows so we click we create another layer we are just going to click right here we create another layer i'm actually separating all the shadow layers contact shadow layers so we are just going to create some contact shadows this way With the, with the second solid color selector, we grab the max, grab the soft tone brush. We go to the brush settings again, we are changing the roundness to 22. Make it bigger by the right bracket key. So we are changing foreground to black. And we are just going to make some few clicks to create like, maybe a cast of a light onto, onto the bottle. So we are just going to paint this thing. We select, we change to white and we are going to erase because we are actually painting with black this time, the light. So we are going to select this particle. First of all, we, are, we right click and release the clipping marks. We are going to clip the, the levels onto it. All right. So with the particles we have selected, we are going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. With the mask selected, we create a mask with the mask selected. We grab a soft tone brush, right click and change roundness to normal. Increase opacity to 100. Set foreground to black. And we are just going to erase. We are going to create a solid color. With the layer selector, we are going to change the blend mode to more triple. With the mark selected, Control I to invert. We grab a soft tone brush and we decrease the opacity. Set foreground to white, and we are going to paint some darkness or sh sorry shadows around here you have it this way yeah that's cool and we are going to create a curves adjustment layer all right once we have everything in place we are just going to press ctrl alt shift e to match all layers right click and convert to smart object then we we'll go for camera roll to filter camera roll filter All we have to do is play with these settings all around here. Once that is good, then we just click OK. This is before and after. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay creative.